Yeah. Evelyn, we're filming. Oh. This is CSI Today. Today! Welcome to CSI Today. I'm Evelyn Torres. And I'm Skylar Logan. In the United States, there's a lot of controversy over whether the country's government actually incorporates equality into their system. With discrimination still being prominent within its borders, it is obvious that there is still room for improvement. But what happens when two beliefs clash? This happened on March 13, 2014, when a man by the name of William Jack went to a Sukkot bakery in Denver, Colorado, and asked for a cake to be decorated with symbols and statements that would display anti-gay themes. The owner of the bakery, Marjorie Silva, denied his request on account for not wanting to partake in an act of discrimination nor hatred. As a result, he sued her, using the First Amendment as an argument for himself, which gives people the freedom of religion. Despite his efforts, however, it was just recently ruled that she could not be found at fault. She did not refuse his request because of his religion. She only did so because the cake he was requesting was to have offensive imagery and quotes. Despite the ruling, however, there is still confusion as to who was discriminating against whom. The fact that an answer would probably be based on opinion makes this question a bit more difficult to answer. Here's a stellar revelation, Mavericks. Aliens be huge. That's what scientist Fergus Simpson says. In March, he posted a scientific paper full of math claiming that aliens most likely weigh around 650 pounds, which is the same size as a female polar bear. He says his calculations were based on several scientific and mathematical factors, including the laws of preservation of mass, proportions between planetary gravity and body mass, and the fact that space travel would require a long lifespan and high intelligence, which both tend to increase with size. Several reputable scientists agree with his opinion and calculations, including Duncan Fergan and Seth Shostak. So remember, Mavericks, if you've ever wondered what to expect in case of an alien invasion, think big. big. You know what else is big? Maverick Sports. Let's go to La Silla Caliente con Kevin Matigal y otras personas. Welcome back, Mavericks. This is The Hot Seat with... Kevin Madrigal, Isaiah Head, and Carlos Padilla. Welcome back Mavericks, and today we have some track stats for you. In the girls' first event, they came in second place, and in their second event, they came in fourth place. And here we have Cheyenne Hankus in the event that she won second place. And she starts to run. She's running. She's running. She's running. And she finishes in second. Star runners for this week included Devin Blake, Hunter Blake, Alejandro Chavez, and Kevin Chan. And as far as the records, the soccer team are doing good at a 2-2 two two record. Softball team 2-3 and, and volleyball 2-3 and three as well. Now that's all we have for today, Mavericks. Now back to you guys at the booth. Gracias, Kevin. In other news, we go to Kit Carson Correctional Center in Denver, Colorado. A man by the name of Rene Lima Marin was sentenced to 98 years due to aggravated robbery. He was set free 88 years earlier than he was intended to, being released on April 24, 2008 at the age of 29. He was free for five years. In those five years, he had turned his life around and even began to start a family, having two kids. On January 7, 2014, he was called into the correctional center and was given the terrible news. There was a mistake within its system and he was forced to serve the rest of his sentence. How would you feel if something tragic such as this happened to you? Here to tell us more, our field reporter, Julissa Ochoa. Okay, Marilyn, do you think this is fair? I don't think it's fair. So, like, why would you release him and then bring him back? I wouldn't think that's fair because like he's living his life outside being free and then they get him a call and you have to go back like that's not good. What would you do in this situation? I would go and fight for my rights and go and get a lawyer and try to resolve this because I wouldn't like that idea. So Josh, do you think this is fair? Uh, nah, not in my opinion. Uh, what would you do in this situation? Uh, I would probably try to get 
try to call for lawyers or try to do something like to defend myself because if they made a mistake, I mean, that's their fault. Thanks, Julie. Okay, thank that's you. it for CSI Today. I'm Skylar Logan. And I'm Evelyn Torres. And remember, Mavericks, what was it? <laughs> <laughs>